accuracy and speed of face recognition technology has improved exponentially in recent years. At the same time, the number of use cases and applications, along with general acceptance of the technology, have increased significantly. Here at Innovatrix, we've been developing industry-leading biometric technology for over 15 years now. Like most businesses around the world, we've been doing our best to respond to the challenges posed by the recent coronavirus or COVID-19 outbreak. One of the major changes we may see in the wake of the coronavirus is an increased amount of people choosing to wear protective face masks on a daily basis. And that got us thinking, what could this mean for face recognition? Would people need to remove their masks to go through e-gates at airports or access control systems at their offices? Our researchers decided to conduct an experiment to assess the readiness of our technology to deal with masked faces. The results might surprise you. Here at Innovatrix, we have a face-activated entrance gate. As a person approaches the gate, the camera and the software behind it automatically detect the person's face. If the person is registered in the database, the gate should open seamlessly. Now, let's see if this works just as well when Yarka is wearing her face mask. As you can see, the software has managed to detect Yarka's face, search it against the 130 other faces in the database, and instruct the gate to open. So we ask our employees and our friends and satellite to collect a couple of hundreds of faces with masks, uh, extended with some images from the internet that are freely available to perform some accuracy tests. So for this initial test, we did uh, around 4,000 faces. So initial results are basically very nice for verification. So for example, if you try to unlock your phone using our algorithm, or if you have application using our algorithm when you use it for login, uh, you can do it at 99 plus percent accuracy level with a good enough security. So for one-to-one -one verification, it's strong. Uh, but we also simulated a situation when you basically have uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, matches which is an, like an investigation scenario, so for police forces it may not find the result at the first place, but you can still search it in the top 50, top 20, which is good enough if you are trying just to identify somebody on a larger database. But uh, you can do a lot of, lot of stuff right now with the current algorithm, so for example if you enroll the people with the mask on uh, into database or um, as a, a reference image, uh, the accuracy actually increases because the algorithm takes this into account and uh, of course our R&D has all the images we have collected uh, in compliance with every standard, so GDPR and stuff like that and they are trying to improve the algorithm with this new data so it's also we are not keeping idle, we are not satisfied with the result even though it's pretty impressive but we want to get better so probably newer version of our algorithm will handle this even much better. So there you go, our face recognition technology is able to detect and recognize people even if they're wearing a face mask. Next, we plan to test this on larger databases with hundreds of thousands of faces to see how scalable this could be. Stay tuned to our website and social media channels to find out how this progresses. And if you'd like to find out more, just send us an email to the address below. Thanks for watching.